Integumentary System Lecture 4. This is our last lecture for this chapter, so you should start to prepare for a test. So we went over uh, basic types of burns, and we also went over uh, skin cancer, and we were ending with talking about melanoma, uh, melanoma being uh, more likely to be malignant. It starts in the melanocytes. Uh, you get that unusual mole formation. Um, uh, melanoma can be uh, like that mole or, or uh, skin cells that are elevated above the surface. They may itch, they may hurt, they may feel um, uh, oh, hold on. They may feel a little bit numb or, or display uh, different uh, colorations. And then we said that the, there is the A, B, C, D um, to look for. These are, these are the four basic things to look for when trying to detect melanoma. Asymmetry, border irregular, irregularity, colors, uh, the diameter. So that would be if the mole is greater than six millimeters. And then, of course, uh, there's that e, e part, and the E would stand for evolving. So uh, did the mole grow? Did it change its size, shape, color? If that's the case, then it's not your typical mole. Um, you would have concerns there for having melanoma. Uh, basically, here are, here are the types of skin cancer there. So you can see basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and melanoma. Um, basal cell, uh, very common. Um, basically, uh, what you could do to kind of protect yourself is use broad spectrum sunscreen, um, wear protective clothing and fabrics uh, uh, with a hat or a baseball cap and protect yourself from UV exposure. Uh, wear sunglasses, um, that would help protect the eyes. Uh, I have heard of cases of basal cell carcinoma uh, getting on eyelids. And um, if possible, try to stay uh, out of the sun between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, because this is uh, the point when the sun's rays are directly overhead. And uh, by doing so, it would uh, reduce the exposure of the sun's rays by about 60%. And then for all you that like to uh, get that fake tan, um, avoid tanning machines um, because uh, they are... They are uh, exposing you to that ultraviolet radiation. Okay, wound healing. Uh, it's repair of the integument. Um, wound healing occurs only in areas with actively dividing cells, such as epithelial tissues, connective tissues, and minimally in muscles and nervous tissues. Uh, there are factors that affect healing. Um, that would be uh, nutrition, Blood su supply, infection, and age are all factors that uh, have effect on healing. So the process of wound healing, um, basically um, what would happen is at first the tissue injury would cause inflammation. So there, there are four steps. Um, the first would be tissue causing inflammation, uh, redness, swelling, heat, and pain. Uh, deep wounds uh, cause a rupture to blood vessels, and blood would then fill the wound. Uh, then step two, after a blood clot would form, a protective, uh, a protective scab would develop, and scabs are when you get fibroblast and white blood cells that migrate to the wound site. And then the next step, uh, you would start to have the development of new epidermal cells, and fibroblast would promote that tissue regeneration. And then finally, you have uh, the last step there, which would be freshly healed skin of the epidermis. And so that is the process for uh, healing a wound. Effects of aging on the integumentary system. Um, basically, age-related changes in skin, tissues, pigment, hair, sweat glands, circulation, and then uh, differences in fingernails and toenails. Uh, the skin wrinkles, so you get wrinkling of the skin uh, because the epidermis is loose. 
Uh, you, you have fewer dermal fibers uh, and, and they tend to be more disorganized in old, older age. And the hypodermis uh, has less padding. Uh, you get a homeostatic adjustment to heat uh, and that is limited due to less uh, vasculature pressure. Uh, so you get fewer blood vessels and fewer sweat glands as you get older. Um, so older people we know are more sensitive to the effects of overheating and many of them tend to take or have heat strokes um, when we have uh, heat waves. Uh, the number of hair follicles uh, definitely decreases in old age causing the hair on the scalp and extremities to be thinner. Uh, this uh, uh, also reduces the number of sebaceous glands. Uh, the skin tends to crack uh, melanocytes decrease with age. Um, this definitely causes the hair to turn gray, the skin to become paler. Uh, some of the remaining pigment cells that are left behind are larger. And then you get these pigmented blotches that appear on the skin. Many of the changes that occur in the skin as a person ages uh, are associated with sun damage. Ultraviolet radiation causes rough skin. Uh, Differences in pigmentation, uh, fine lines, and definitely wrinkles. You get deep furrows, uh, numerous benign skin growths, and various types of skin cancers can emerge in, in older age. So your prevalence of having some of these things increases. So skin care. How can you take care of your skin? Well, definitely proper nutrition is a way to take care of your skin. Uh, having adequate circulation throughout the, the, uh, your body systems to feed the skin, uh, supply it with oxygen and nutrients. Regular cleansing of the skin, it removes dirt and also helps to remove dead skin cells. It sustains a slightly acidic environment to inhibit bacterial growth. And then uh, again, protection from sunlight. Uh, exposure to ultraviolet light causes genetic mutations in the skin. Uh, we call those UV photodimer mutations. And if you picture a DNA molecule, you know that the, the two strands of the DNA molecule are held together by the uh, binding nitrogenous spaces, those hydrogen bonds in between them. But when you have UV photodimer mutations, you get nucleotides that will join together on the same strand instead of bonding with the nucleotide on the opposite strand. And eventually that could lead to cancer and, and cause premature aging. Um, I encourage you, for those of you that, you know, like to be out in the sun and, and use tanning beds, uh, look up uh, people that have exposed themselves to years of ultraviolet radiation and, and look at their actual age and look at their facial features and how much they have uh, aged prematurely. So that's it for today.